teachers. Uh, I believe that in Detroit, they're now cutting about half of their schools. So by 2014, they're going to end up with 60 students per classroom. That's not an environment where you can learn. That's barely even babysitting. And, you know, we put these problems on these uh, Democrats and all the teachers. And really, they're not even the ones that are causing the problem to begin with. Republicans have been trying to instill some sort of, uh, I'm trying to remember the right word, the uh, merit based basis for teachers. They've been trying for a long time to get that in, but they've never actually found a way that actually works. They've found plenty of ways to do merit based pay, but none that actually can tell whether or not a teacher is effective in the classroom and can actually do their job But they don't care that their system doesn't work. They want to instill it anyway. And the first step to doing that is busting these. So this is their this is their goal. You know, they cut the taxes, then they say that the problem is being caused so they can instill these ideas and plans that they want to instill. But they're not plans that they've thought well about, you know, or thought out well. You know, they're not things that they've proven will work. It's just their ideas and their rhetoric. And they don't care whether or not it's gonna be good for this country. They just wanna do it. Well, we definitely want to support them. Um, I think that everybody in the country needs to stand up and support them. I think that every single union in the country needs to support them. Um, you know, if one union falls, it leaves it open for any other union to be busted as well. And what you have Right. Well, um, my mom is a teacher. She's been teaching without a contract for two years. And it's disgusting, and it's been a problem for a long time. And this is just one more, you know, chink in our armor. And, um, yeah, we need to support these unions. We need to support all the unions. And we need to actually make all of them stronger because they've been being bullied for years. And they've been, I mean, my mom has taken pay cut after pay cut after pay cut. <laughs> her benefits. She has compromised over and over again and made less and less money so that she could have these benefits that are now being, you know, people are now trying to take away from teachers all across the country. And it seems ridiculous that somebody should compromise over and over again, year after year, not get raises. I mean, almost every single industry in the world gets raises after they've been with a company for, you know, a number of years. And that hasn't been happening for teachers recently because they've given that up to protect them benefits that they get. And so now they're going to lose those too. So, I mean, what do we do next? Do we just decide that, you know, teaching shouldn't be a qualified position? Do we decide that we want, you know, people who can't even pass college classes and get a decent degree and, and get certification? Do we want that? Because that's what's going to happen. If teaching isn't protected, and if people who teach can't have decent wages and decent benefits, then we're going to end up in a situation where the people who teach our children aren't qualified to do so. We're already slipping behind other countries, you know, in trying to keep up with the race for education, and this is just going to make it worse. Very well, so thank you. What's your name? Nathan Lambert. Peace out. L-A-M-B-E-R-T. Where are you from? I'm from Portland. Thank you so much.